got a special yeah. guest for you. Very special. Please welcome the winner of Big Brother Mzanzi. Mpo wa badimu. It's a very deep thing. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. So now you're now contaminated by his stuff that you can't rid him of his stuff. I also contaminate because remember Inyanga is lap. So ngizokula phaka njani him. You just being in a relationship with me, you need to know there's a lot of things you can't engage in. Myself. How much money did you get, Konja? Two million. After tech, what, what's the situation? What's going on with you and Temba? Like, can we settle the, the score know. here? <laughs> like, and what would you allow him to see the son? If you wanted to see the son, Why the not? child's son. Why not? So he's ghosting the child. Not entirely, but there's a lot happened. So your pants are dry today. <laughs> there is a lot that happened. <laughs> <laughs> if Temba starts his car, yeah. drives to Guaco or whoever the child is, yeah. will he be able to hold the child in his arms? No. And now, what I mean, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we got a special yeah. guest for you. Very special. Please welcome the winner of Big Brother Mzanzi. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> yeah. Well, what season did you win? Season three. Season three. Yes. Oh, damn. So the other girl, what, what season did she win? Um, Kosi. Kosi. Four then. It was Titans, yeah. Oh, yeah. that was yeah. a different yeah. format yeah. a yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. Bro, how does it feel to win something? I've never won anything in my life, bro. I also had never won anything. I think that, that was my first win mm. ever. But it was, yo, a lot. I think it took me a while to believe it. Yeah. After three months, that's only when it sank in that, hey man, hey man. I got a bone to pick with you, not because you're a sangoma, but... <laughs> okay, pick your tambo, bro. Did you know you were going to win? Because you're, you're a sangoma. I got the dreams. I got the... Yeah, I knew yeah, it! I got the dreams. I knew yeah. it! Was it before before you entered? Not No. Yeah. Because I initially asked my ancestors to not interfere with the game. So I think, yo, it was it was a lot of they did they did go silent. Mm. And I they allowed me to live because that was the first time ever in my life I was outside of my comfort zone of being led by my ancestors. So that game all in all was me being independent. And then at the end, I think the final weeks, that's when I, but it was it was a white paper. I just saw congratulations. And the final week I saw my grandmother come in the dream and she just she just gave me a two. And I was like, wow. okay. I want to give you a cup of slow. I mean, like, I see a white paper and congratulations. But also remember, um, I manifested everything that was happening there. I lived in that moment prior yeah. to it happening. So when I saw that, it was a confirmation that this is yours. So but, when you said they shouldn't, you asked them not to interfere. Yeah. In what capacity could they have possibly interfered? Um, me reading people every time trying to interfere in their personal lives like yeah. that um also connecting to what was happening in the outside world because it was a lot that was going on it was heavy because the first week Navugail was very on the show wow. so i remember being called in the diary room are you okay are you going to cope i was like yes i'm going to cope but just trust me i'm going to cope and from then on we just flew if people say we consent you to read us mm -hmm. and not in Dumbeni, like yeah. here, for example, do yeah. you do that? So let's say in the house, someone said, yo, you can read me. I'm fine. Yeah. But also that space was very tricky because re remember, Inda Bazako Aziziwa Yimik Pela, and it's the viewers. So also that space was not conducive for a reading. A reading is a private session between a healer and a, a client. So whatever happens in that session yeah. or between you and I needs to stay there. It can't be outside news. So if someone said, read me, Mpo, I was just going to go around, but I was going to be like, after the show, can we make time to meet up and talk about this? You know what was funny? There was a scene where <laughs> during Big Brother, I can't remember you had that. I don't know what it was called, where mm -hmm. uh, for a certain amount of time, uh, housemates could go in a corner and skinner and speak and whatever. Um, what was that again? Yeah. Um, 
Yo, yo, yo. I that thing, man. Yeah, that thing. I remember there was a, there was a scene where it's three guys. Yeah. I don't know who was there, but yeah. Tuz Madala was there. Yeah. And it was like, Umpa Madimu can probably hear us right now. That was the cra- <laughs> that was the craziest thing, Nagy. In the house, my senses were so heightened. Yeah. I did not need to sit around people, but I could tell when someone was talking about me. And it got wow. to a point when I was like, this is going to mess up my game. I need to act normal, behave normal, or else I'm going to go home. And yeah, sniff was my coping mechanism. I don't want to lie. Mm. Yeah. So, so what, what if? Yeah. Wow. What did you say that's an advantage though? Not really, because also that was for me breaking boundaries, showing people that within the gift of the calling, there's a young woman with aspirations and dreams and that wants to coexist. Because I was as I was experiencing the world at large, but at a smaller scale with people that would look at me and be like, hey, can Asangoma do this? Can Asangoma do that? Mm. So I was reliving that, but now at the scale in the house where millions of people are now viewing it. But mm. it was it was a beautiful experience. Uh, let's talk about the snafe. So they allowed you to, to take the snafe inside yeah. the house? At first it was a challenge, but I did explain that it's it's part of who I am. And yes, Dinga, because there was a week being an so I was not I was not coping. Mm. I need to calm myself down because when I take my snafe, and be at myself. So when I'm I'm all over the place, I don't wanna be in people's business like that. She was telling me when we were outside that it actually gets you high, like the snafe. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's got tobacco. <laughs> it's got tobacco, doesn't it? Mm. Or there's, something. Yeah, there's some stuff. Us, I, I, but for us, there, is that spiritual high? Because it's like, it separates you from the physical to the spiritual. I can't put it into words, but it's been seven wow. years since I've been taking Snave. So there's no looking back. That's insane, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you've been on a sobriety journey for how long now? Um, I'm 36 days and counting. 36 days? Yeah. Wow. Now, in true podcast fashion, we're going to kill all of that, man. It's December, man. But you know the thing is... It's like, only been 36 it's... days. <laughs> <laughs> It's like we don't forget Monday acting in the It's only been thirty days. It has been hard. No, I just wanted to put myself in a space of surviving without because um, remember we always say this thing and 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 yeah. and I think I was escaping and using that as an excuse. I was like, you know what? Let me do without. So it's a personal space for me that I'm in. I'm proving to myself that I can be without um, for X amount of time and cope. You know, on average, how much are we drinking on a daily basis? Um, I'm not a, so much of a drinker, drinker, but it's having everything out of your system because I wanted to go on a journey of purity for ah, my spiritual self. Ooh. You know, I'm moving into a different space. Mm. So I needed that to connect deeper in Amat Luzuami and also be pure myself because I sometimes would go and fast, but Nyapuza and so Nfilaguti, there was no balance. So I think right now I'm becoming stricter on myself. I'm not going to do they distance themselves from you. Maybe when you go to the island, so I eat pua, or pua, or pua. You know, like, because, like you said, this is not going to be pua, you know, so... <laughs> It's not it that make sense. it is angoma zia Remember, alcohol is is normally associated with a certain level of celebration or just, you know, um, a malaysia of sorts. So that's why we put alcohol in some to uh, uh, basically associate that and also a level of affordability because people now put grandeur and champagnes mm. and all of these things. So it's not about izangoma. Which is your pusa, so but um, it was the Nelos Lino Jalabalo. Got Conamat was Anga Pusi, but it was Nelos Lino Jalabalo. Like, even the alcohol my ancestors want, I don't drink that alcohol. I have my own preference, you know. When I'm in that zone, like when I'm in that element, I'll just take a shot of that and that's it. So me drinking my beverage on a Monday or on a Tuesday has got nothing to do with my ancestors. Are they brand specific on what they want or it's just white spirits, brown spirits? <laughs> um, there are ancestors that come forward, whereby they can be brand specific depending Whoa. on what they were taking. Basapila. Abanye then because of Klampe is in using tosing a big corner. That's why I see no tengu jolly wum clope, no wum yama, because mklampe lentoli um kulube gai puza right now. I call um clampe scarce. So yeah. We're gonna have a lot of ancestors drinking chillers punch. <laughs> <laughs> we are a fifty years down the line. Okay, hundred years down the line. Man is not dead. There's I no grandeur anymore. I said, 
Yeah, we Someone is auctioning off a bottle for 5,000 rands. <laughs> just to get big and sound more. We are going to be the different type of ancestors. I always say this. Our, our, the way Sizzle Pasha on our corner is going to be totally different to what we are doing today. That's crazy. We've evolved man. spiritually. All right, cool. Yeah. So wow. we're going we're gonna to play a, a drinking game, ne? Okay. Uh, uh, what's your poison? Choose. We've got Granjo, we've got Strap no, Toast. I'll take beer. the Chillers, Chillers Punch. Chillers Punch. Yeah, okay. I'll take the Chillers Dope. Punch. Punch for you. Bo, 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 bo. There you go, there you go. <laughs> so the game is called Sip and Chill. Okay. You cool. must take a card, read the card, and whatever it says, you must do. Okay, cool. Are you ready? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's pick a card. I'll show you. Hey, man. I have show. Oh, so show I Oh, it was rigged. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Go on, cool, eh? You see when the show is not Ghost lady is not here. I'm, <laughs> I'm the substitute ghost lady now. When well, she's not here, I want to score the own goal. I will show you real cool. So. I got your back, yeah? So, I appreciate you. I'm poor soul. It's in poor soul now. It's no longer our deep. No, oh, man. No. Um, do you want me to proceed or do you want yeah. to? No, no, let's go. Oh, no, no, it's fine. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. All right. It was rigged, but you unrigged it. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> Pick a person to sing their favorite song. If they fail, they sip. Okay. No, we don't like that one. Choose another. Yeah, one. that's boring. That's boring. Man, that's man, your it? game is boring. Yeah, that's man. why I rigged it. Hey, man, why did you? Make your boring cards on your own game. <laughs> you didn't vet this, this game. This one is about balancing on one leg. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, uh, next, next you can tell um, aye, aye, don't t- t- Ring it again. <laughs> we'll, we'll cut this one up, bro. Ring, ring it again, bro. Like, no, we can't ring it again, bro. The corruption. Are you, <laughs> let's like, go. Let's go. It's fine. Okay, okay cool. We'll, we'll tell if it's nice or not. The next player you make eye contact with must take a sip. Okay, that's fair enough. Take okay, a sip. Cool, okay, cool. Take All a right. sip. Hey, sorry, you killed us. No, no, I'm not uh, But the truth. Oh, okay, this podcast cool. is for the truth. <laughs> yeah. We are uncensored. Now we are censoring cards. Um, I talk with a different accent. No ways. Gazelin, little Ten tonight, cats. Eh? Oh. <laughs> oh, I keep this card. Mm-mm. Oh, okay. Name a person from the group playing that you would hook up with or sip. <laughs> oh. She doesn't know no! all our names. Just point. Because you don't know all our names. <laughs> I'll pass. Yeah, because I'm meant to answer that because I picked up I'll the pass. card. I'm no. meant to answer that. I ain't a soul. No. I'll pass. I picked the card. So You're I'm passing. Pass. Yeah. No, but Man, she didn't take the card. Just call or someone. She didn't take the card. I took the card, so I have to pick someone. But you are looking for a card. So oh, okay, you okay, pick someone. <laughs> Someone is shut I should have trusted you. I saw it's your turn. <laughs> oh, you pick her. You'd hook up with her. Yeah, of course. Oh, man, I thought you are picking her to man, do this. I thought you'd be... <laughs> Hey man, I'm slow. I thought you you picking her to choose someone. No, no, no. Oh. No. Sip if you have a kid. We all have kids, man. We all have kids. <laughs> Ish, my cards. Hey, yeah, no, ish. Ah, I had nice bro. cards, dog. Ah. So if you have ever had sex on the first date. Oh, oh yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. You have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. First night of Big Brother. I oh, yes, in, in Papa and Nikki. <laughs> Technically, yeah. technically, yes. But she didn't, bro. No, no. Technically, her and Temba outside the house would have been on the on her on their first oh, date. But because Seba said me, so Sesi has to go That doesn't apply, though. Hmm? That doesn't apply, though. It does, because it doesn't. Did it you go on a date in the house? We have been around each other a couple of times, so we have. Yeah, no, it doesn't apply. The date you had outside <laughs> was your first date with him. I mean, so you are eating. <laughs> but, and, okay, I'll give it to you for that. Um, Ishmael, I still know it doesn't But you, you you made a conscious decision on the show not to have sex with anyone. Now I could tell, no? Yo, I think for me, that it was a lot at stake for me. Um, I'll always be a Sangoma before everything. And I wouldn't risk, um, yeah, moaning on the screens. Nah, not for But me. was there a point where you're like, fuck, I got to release some poison, man? Right. It's hard. <laughs> it gets hard. You thought about but, it. But um, I think you remember what's at stake because at some point you forget that there are cameras. Okay. Okay. 
at some point you forget that there are cameras oh, and yeah, yeah. you also remember that yo gonji gonji but nah no feel more like while having sex as a sangom yo i can't speak for sangomas in general but for me no i think okay. um people have just made um isn't those amadlozi look gimmicky Mm. Um, because there's a lot of things that happen um, spiritually. So you need to know you are there having your orgasms. Ooh, so now your goko is coming. But in some instances... <laughs> your goko is coming. <laughs> but in some instances, there are some people who have been in those situations. Ne? But I, I, I can't speak for them. But for mm-hmm. me, nah. Oh, nah. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, cool, here's your card. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Literally, he's shouting. Name the last person you have hooked up with or sip. I haven't done any hookups, hey? Ah, I don't want to lie. For real? What? Yeah, I'm not a hookup person. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a hookup person. Wow. Yeah, when I'm with someone, I'm with someone. What's it about you that doesn't allow you to hook up? Um, energy is everything. Mm. Um, because also I don't know where you have been prior to us. So I also need to maintain clients because weekend is weekend, but Monday I'm going back to work and that is my Ndumba. So I can't go there with lots of yous, you know, around me. And it's it's a lot of admin just hooking up for me. Do you still do Ndumba consulting? I never stop. Wow. It's beautiful. who I am. Yeah. Beautiful. Here's another card. What's for you that one? <laughs> Call a text an ex. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Let's save. call an ex. Let's call an ex. And your phone is right here. Let's call an ex. I'm not in the punch. You want to let? Oh, you said so yeah. Oh man. How many exes you got? Is it a lot? No, not really. I did. I don't have much of a a long dating history because most of my life has been. Um, around the gift. So I've always been the odd child out, the different child. So my relationships have always been short-lived. You know, if they are there, they are there. If they're not, but I understand the nature of who I am and I keep it moving. But tell me, if you hook up with someone yeah, on a, like, on a wild night out, mm-hmm. is that an ex or like, that's just like, that doesn't count as an ex? No, it doesn't count as an ex. So what are you talking about? Are you talking about people that you actually dated? Yeah. How many people have you dated? I don't know, but they're not more than... Yo, I don't have a lot of body count. Mm. I can count my exes at just that. Yeah, I don't want to go into that. But um, yeah, I don't have a lot of people I've dated. From 16, it was struggling with the gift. And then only in varsity, I was now like, you know, open to the space of being in relationships. But it did not also last. So, and then after it was the calling, and then, and then big brother. And then, yeah, so not much has happened. Your, your first baby daddy, is he the one who broke your virginity? No. Oh, there was a guy no. before. <laughs> huh? Yes. Come on. Ah, you're not a yeah. Yeah. You want me to name drop now? I will. If ancestors, yeah. Mono Moya, right, are able yeah. to, and not that everyone, everyone on Nukos, if they go on Big Brother, Bazo Boniso, like you did, that you're going to win. Mm. How come with relationships, do they show you that this one mm-hmm. is not the one? Or... Because I'm assuming that everyone you date, you, you're you hoping is the one, like any normal adult, mm-hmm. you know, average mm-hmm. adult. Mm-hmm. Don't they ever show you or any red flags with a person? So I think with us, probably I'll speak for some healers that we often are caught up in a space of dating your client or dating someone for a season or a reason. Ooh. Because if it's going to be a long-term relationship, there has to be a certain understanding between Amadlozi. So that's why you'd see Guti, but no, Zangomas, um, they don't be in relationships for a long time because sometimes you find Guti, I meet you, Ganti, there's something I need to fix in you. But Heal, because of, client. you know, that attraction that is there and also maybe Nazi sitting at that companionship, we end up being in the relationship, human, you know. Human, yeah. So you find that circle doesn't stop. That's why you end up, you know, finding yourself in that space continuously. So you, you live your life collecting healing and putting it in a spiritual journal so that you become better. But you are not omniscient to life. 
as a Sangoma or as a healer, you go through life just like everybody else. You'll be disappointed. You'll go through everything. But it's just us now learning to differentiate. Is this now my client? Is this now someone? Else? But everyone has spiritual problems because as a healer, naturally, you're going you go, you're gonna to be attracted or rather people are going to be drawn to you because of your healing energy. So what kind of stuff do you heal sometimes with someone, let's say, yeah. who didn't present themselves as a client who walked yeah. into a Ndumba saying, I need help. But mm-hmm. then you ended up dating, but it turns out you were just in their life to heal them. No, what I've never of... dated my clients. People that have walked in my No, no, not, yeah. not those. But yeah. when you're saying sometimes mm. you see in hindsight that that relationship, it was not meant to be a romantic one, yeah. but you were there to heal the person. Um, You know, sometimes it's giving someone closure of some sort or sometimes letting them know what they need to align in their life because mm-hmm. once you are in sexual contact with someone mm-hmm. so mm. you know but if we haven't reached that stage I am still able to construct a healing so I can only heal you to a certain stage but can't touch you further than that because we are intimate what, what, what how does intimacy block up? Um, you you take me, I take you. So ingulo yako, it's it's oh, a very deep thing. Yeah, I see, yeah, I see, yeah, I see. Yeah. So now you're now contaminated by his stuff that you can't rid him of his stuff. I also contaminate because remember, inyanga is lap. So ngzokla paganja nuim. Ah, tuli lapi somewhere. No, not not really. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> not really, but it's it's very. Complicated, it is. but that's why we talk like Dala in Yanga. They were very isolated from societies and communities. They were not even dating. So we are the new age Sangomas. We want to experience. We want to do this. But if we are we is shy, we sell him some. So only men that really can handle a relationship with Sam, uh, Sangoma, they will know how far it takes because you just being in a relationship with me, you need to know there's a lot of things you can't engage in. And then after that, there are processes whereby now we need to join each other spiritually so that anything that happens, Amal Yozanga interfere because also ancestors have the power to interfere in a relationship if they don't, they feel, uh-uh, maybe sometimes I'm the one that doesn't want to let go, but ancestors have a way of just kita everything. What can I engage in if I'm dating in, in Yang? What do you mean, so? I thought, I, I thought you said there's some things that I can't engage in if I'm with... It Omo differs Dew's with gifted. person for person, but you need to know, Guti, your purity is is what will keep the relationship going. And in Tantla, Esugi Kona, Pagat Square, Tisugi Leta, Amadlos, because remember, I'm a womb, you enter me as the man. So, whatever, I mean, I'm always balanced spiritually. My chakra is always aligned, my, my root chakra. So, that is where the power of a woman is. So, if Gonga Guhambarati, Nyakuya Kono, Guti, now in Jongo Muntos, and I'm in Toza Koziglungele, just by us coming together, because wow. it's a unity from from the spirit. So now if Ule took Nola, Gonke logo gush oxuge gulagim uyagnolisa, and then it becomes a problem. So but that has been a problem with some people whereby now you find men dating Sangoma, becoming serial Sangoma daters, for they know that the purer the purity. Yeah, they're looking yeah, for the purity. Yeah, the purity. Sure. Uh, yeah. we got a question from Machila here. Mm-hmm. Um they're saying uh, we had Gogos Koteni on the show yeah. where she stated that some people have a calling mm-hmm. but aren't supposed to be Izangoma. What's your yeah. opinion on this? Um, ma, everyone's entitled to, the, to their opinion. But for me, it's simple. It's either you are going through an awakening or a calling. That's what people get crossed. An awakening, you can dream, see things. Everyone needs to dream. Everyone needs to connect to their ancestors. But now, when you go to someone who is who doesn't have a certain understanding of the things of the spirit, it's easy for someone to say, just because you dreamt of a certain cloth, you must now become a sangoma. Just because sometimes it's in using to those bona because you're becoming awakened. As a person, we go through three or four stages of awakening in our in our walking life. You go through that when you're finding yourself in your adolescent stage. That's why the, 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 the why people say it's adolescent stage. But I mean, I say that's your first, your second awakening. Your first is at birth. And then when you go through all these stages of awakening, it's very easy for someone to misdiagnose you and say you have a calling. That is why we told Zangoma Ziatwasa and Babu Yabashalikai. We have a high number of Izangoma, but you find that the called ones you can count. But it yeah. sounds like 
people are, are, are diagnosing themselves. Yeah. I think I think social media kind of played a very vital role in that because now we have what's on the internet as in um, symptoms of I have a gift, symptoms of amadlozi. What is a symptom for me is not a symptom for you. I always say to this to, to, to people all the time that don't base your spiritual journey on someone else's experience. Because now, just because I had a headache, and you're going through that, you're thinking you have a calling, maybe you're going to have So if I'm going to take your ears ringing, your headaches, you dreaming of snakes, you are going to dream of snakes. You are going to, because we have disassociated ourselves from a snake, that it's a demon. Religion came and taught us that. Snake is power. Sure. And healing. And healing. That's so, why I like the medical symbol. Yeah. Like symbol uh, for medicine. It's okay. a stuff yeah. and a snake around it. Even ambulances. It is It, yeah, it, it is. It is power. So, yeah. yeah, and we've been indoctrinated. Yeah. It's, so it's everyone evil, that's yeah. dreaming of that or seeing that is now marine spirits. You are dreaming of demon, all these things. And at that time, it's your awakening self showing you that you are heightened spiritually. That's when you need to go deeper within self. So, yeah. When did you learn, Nuri? Okay, cool. Did you first get a calling or were you diagnosed? Or like what happened with, with your journey? You were born gifted. Your life says it all. You it says it from birth until the time you 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 uhambu your twasa. For me, I was in denial most of my life. I was a Christian. I ran from Izintozo Bungoma to to a certain extent. There were demons and all of that. And I did not want anything to do with that. And I remember Kaya Maba Pasha by Nzizin Toguti Stelum Tana Nimiege. I was like, okay, I'm not going to do this. But when the time came, I was in varsity now, living my best life, and I lost my sight. I was doing my degree in education. And I was I was so hurt that now this is coming back, but I was seeing at what was happening around me. But it was not for me. I was in denial. I felt I'm going for my family. And it is when I started accepting myself because post the calling, I fell into depression because I couldn't accept who I was. This was new to me. All of this was a new And there's life. no one guiding you through this. Literally... You have yourself. That's the thing about spirituality. It's about independency. Hmm. So when you lost your sight, this is what you must do and heed the call. So Amalozi had been coming prior to that, had been coming, but I was running, running. So when I lost my sight, it started, you know, slowly at school. I couldn't see in, in, and then to me being completely blind. So... My mom... Like, you couldn't see? Yes, no I couldn't way. see. Just black. Yes. That's crazy, yeah. bro. So, Ekaya, because they knew that this is what I was running away from, they knew that it was time. And everything just aligned itself. My, my first day, um, that's when my sight slowly coming back. And then ever since, I've never looked back. That's insane. Yeah. What you scared, bro? I was literally shaking. I was, I can't, I couldn't believe this was happening to me. And for the longest time, I was angry of my ancestors. Guys, I was literally on my third year. How can you do this to me? So I thought that post the calling, I could still have a life. You know, I could still go back to being that poor. But hey, you realize the hard way that your life is altered forever. This is who you are. How long were you blind for? Um, it was literally a like a week because yeah. ngahamba on a, a, a Saturday, I remember ngahamba ngangenekse ni like ngamata. So during the day, you must have gone ziwa lezinto leza kone bungo meni. That's when now I, I could slowly see ugutu kwenza galan. And the bank jail ugutu no ilo zeli kwenza ugutu kubega anje. Literally, my mom had to go pack all my stuff where I was staying at Rez because it was bad. It was bad. I don't want to lie. Damn, that's man. insane, bro. Imagine not seeing for a week, bro. Mm. Yeah. You go through that sometimes without your glasses. But because you and know... For a few moments, come on. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not a whole week, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you still friends with your former housemates? Um, okay. Yo, I haven't seen my former housemates in forever. 
and no, we're not friends. Because I also think that I have outgrown that part of myself. It's like people you went to school with. You're not always going to be in contact. But apart from that, what we went through together, we all... What happened to that girl, that your capella in the house? There was this girl who was your capella. She was there every time. Capella? Yeah, following Mpo. Oh, I'm um, Kappa everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? What's her name? I forgot her name. Yeah, whole Kapela. She also had a temper as well. I don't know where she is. I have no idea. What's her name, Konji? Ntabi. Ntabi. Yeah. Oh. I have no idea. Oh, I, I have no idea. So that was just for the cameras? Like, you guys didn't have a bond or anything? No, we did have a bond, but I think as people, we grow. That's why I need to the show, yeah. and after the show, it's very easy for you guys to grow apart. So you met after the show, but, like, nothing... Nothing nah, there's no, it, it's no longer the game. I yeah, yeah, it's no longer the game. Who yeah. did you meet after the show? I'm trying to think. Yo, I was with um, the top five for a few, a short while. And then after the show, I think I met up with <coughs> Sister Tamara. Um, I met up with Mvelo. Um, um, who else? I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think I think those people. Yeah. Do you think? Did you get the vibe like they think you deserve to win it, or they were like, uh, "It's giving Zimbabwe." <laughs> <laughs> I think it's only. Um, I think it it, it it was anyone's game, but only when I went back to watch the show, it was giving like not her. Like, yes, yeah, I, understand. Yes. I think that's when now you realize because everyone was anti you, bro. Yeah, yeah, but it, it's part of the game. I mm. think for me, it's part of the game. It's nothing personal, although there is a thin line between playing the game and personal. Attack. But I think that that worked to your favor because us as the viewers were like, okay, you don't yeah. want her to win, we're gonna make her. We win. see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. We're not in the house. Yeah, we see. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. all. Yeah. 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 And and the money have you used all of it? No, not at all. Oh, That's why she's here <laughs> on the podcast and she. <laughs> and 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 whoever whoever if I catch you that one spread rumor I go broke. <laughs> if I cut you. No, I I haven't. Oh, um, is that kind of who's some, who's someone's who's spreading rumors that you No, I think it was people that started that 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 I, I don't have money anymore and I think I got tired of justifying it and like explaining myself. How much money did you get, Conje? Two million. After tax, because I know they taxed it. Yeah, so but it 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 was yo. I'm I'm trying because I, I had money in my account, so I'm trying to think what I was left with then. It was, but it was over one point, over one point five. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay, that's, yeah. still, that's still solid. That's still yeah. solid. You saw that in your account? Yeah. Do you? Did you go crazy, bro? Ah, uh, not really, because I I had planned for what was in my account. Remember, yeah. you look at those as just I'm a hundred thousand rand the angaga and fuzayin zuguts no guti. So, um, I come from a family where I am, you know, literally the breadwinner, mm. and the plan is to break that. I don't want another breadwinner in my family. I think I'm the last, and it should end with me because I think that's why I moved into the space of business. People don't want to hear about that part of my life. It's boring, yes. Mm. But I went into farming, which was very tricky. Hey, Shout out, man. Yeah, so, hey, from being a farmer initially. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to go to the farmer. So, yeah, it was, it was a very tricky space to get into because also I'm a young woman and I'm 29 and this is what I want to do. So, also, Guna Bantu, that have already been doing that. But oh, I was. Bro, that's not boring. What are you farming? That's not boring. Goats and sheep. Goats. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Like in Joburg. Yeah. No, in Northwest. Wow. In Kaya Lena, that Coco left for me. Um, Coco Loing him to Um, so. I wanted to to do everything like how thing, but you know, in terms of logistics, it's not gonna work. So with that, who wow. is mentoring me and all of that. So So wait, do you buy do you buy the goats or you actually like I started breed? with um I started with ten. And then Baz John just okay, because get the booty jump how about you? And then yeah. And then um I had to I, I then I had to come back strong up because it was a big loss already. So I had to find someone reliable because it's very easy to back John Jail, especially like 
like livestock theft can set you back very much. So I found someone or reliable who's loyal to the family, and then he's the one who's actually looking after the herd. And umkulong jela guti, he's mentoring me. He's got cows. He's got everything. So I'm trying to branch into the dairy farming space mm, and also beautiful. cows and all of that. So I'm trying to work up to that. But infiltrating the supply chain is my goal. And how do you think you're gonna do that? I'm I'm slowly moving into that because at least Umkulukona he's showing me the ins and outs. But it's so you're not just that selling easy. the goats to normal people now. Selling the goats, but he has Indawa's supplier, so that's why Njongo mm-hmm. Corner he's making life easier for mm-hmm. all of us. So now I want the dairy space because the big market. There's a big market for that. So Isn't it owned by white people that market? It is, mm-hmm. but. Ni- we can. Nothing is impossible, Maxi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I, I I do check out, you know, machineries around that. And and, and at some point, I wish for that. says corner and name Then we'll do that. Because now, sitting on 43 goats and 29 sheep. Wow. So, how, much is, how much is one goat? Depending on size. Um, we move at something like 6.5. 6. To seven, Nine, eight, okay, yeah, depending. Six point five times by forty-three goes two hundred and seventy-nine thousand. Mm-hmm. Damn. Nice. Yeah. If you sell all those fifty-three, forty-three. But they must multiply. Because my goal is 100. So now also coming from the kidding season, which is, uh, I, I went through that through the winter time. It was very tricky. Because of the, the you know, the weather. Mm. But yeah, I'm building up towards this that. Business, What's kidding yeah? season? Um, in, in, in Buzakuma Zala. Mizzala, yeah, kids. yeah, okay. kidding season, yeah. So this also, business, eh? yeah, also because at the time I was home most of the time, I, I I didn't have the luxury of traveling to Northwest all the time. So I was just hoping that everything goes well because now I was pregnant at the time. So everything just moved yeah, gradually, but I'm proud of myself. I've definitely come a long way. And for me, that is not even for me. It's for my family more than anything else. I want to, I want them to have something that's going to sustain them. That's why I, I don't want to be a a breadwinner. I, I I hate that. I hate that in our black families. Let's break that curse and let's all win. Let's all win. You said Sorry? You said in Buzako Zwako. Oh, Ukoko Lang him Tasil. Yeah, what does that mean? Uko Bela? No. my Josie. Uko Kingim Tasile, my mother's grandmother. This is unemizi. So Mutum Twasil, it means yeah. what? That's what I'm trying to find out. Like it was lamb. Oh, the yeah. coco that's yeah. at that yeah. oh humba pambi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Those these is space less a So because there's nobody or sell a good lezinto and the yimo o corner and my brother is begis into the kaya, that's why that's why as begile. But we yeah. also found out good see there is a, a piece of like a land, a corner. It's crazy hectares, but now there's white people fighting for it. So we're trying to go the legal routes, but it's costing me money. But I hope I can win something, a few hectares of that. Because yeah. that can Take be good. Time, yeah, man. that can be so, good. So, so is that why you were attracted to Temba? Because he's a goat. <laughs> yes. Oh, fruit ghost, ghost. Oh, I'm so wrong. I This is very nice. Eh? <laughs> uh, I got a question here um, from Michela. Yeah. You entered a relationship with Temba. Some yeah. assumed he dated you for the money you want. What's your view on that? Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't not know why he dated me, mm. but if it was for the money, then it was futile because maybe Google Selina or something AR me. So I still have my own things going on for me. I still have my money. I have my kids. You know, I had that to think for. So nah, if he came for the money, then I I don't know. That's him. That's him. What What's the situation? What's going on with you and Temba? Like, can we settle the the score here? <laughs> <laughs> like, can you break it down for us? Because one minute you guys are in love and then you're in a live saying, hey, what a, what a, what a. Um, I think um, every relationship has its ups and downs. And this one failed, just like it's nothing new to the public. Every relationship fails. We had our differences and it was time for us to part ways. So, yeah, the relationship did not last. It was not a good space for both of us at the time. We just left the house and we're trying to maneuver around this fame. And but everything. you loved him, though. Yes, I did. Yes, mm. I did. Mm. Yes, I did. I did. I, I, I've got a big heart, Megji. Mm. I love. Yeah. Mm. So um, we loved each other, but it was not the right time for us to be in each other's spaces like that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So 
on the reality show because mm-hmm. um, I was watching it. Yeah. Um, wasn't he meant to pay Lobolo or something like that? No, that process did not <clears throat> come to fruition. Because like I said, there are lots of things that are done um, because of me being the person I am. So um, it didn't come to pass. Yeah. And then how much of uh, the ex, because when I was watching the show, like the ex had a lot. She was very involved in the show. How much did, she, what part did she play in you guys breaking up? Um, nah, I, I, I don't know because I would not comment on that. It's, what do you mean? What do you I mean? would not know because I was in a relationship with Temba, not the ex. Okay, but what was your relationship like? Me and not Temba. No, 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 with the ex. No, I've never met her. You never met her? Yeah. She was on the show. Yeah, but we're not shooting together. But did you watch the show? Yeah. And what? what parts what, of it, yeah, parts and of it. And what did you think when you watched it? Nothing much. It's a show, I guess. Mm. Yeah, nothing much. I think it's a reality show. And I, I don't have any sentiments around it. I think for me personally, that was just a reflection, a chapter. And I was like, okay. Ah, but boy, you can't do that to us. Do what? You can't, bro. We were invested so cards. much. Bro, P- Panduka, we invested <laughs> so much. I'll speak for myself. I was very invested in their relationship because I love Tamba. You know what I mean? That guy was awesome yeah, on the show. Cool, such know? a cool guy. You know, you know what I mean? And then Mpo, she won and she was also Phenomenal. like one of my favorites. Yeah, they she's... got together. We're like, fuck, this is Expecting, amazing. Yeah, this is Bought it. Bought a house in mid We're like, fucking hell, oh, they got yeah, a kid. Yeah, this... oh, oh, fucking this hell. Is it. And then you're not going to say anything? Like, Come on. What do you want me to say exactly? What happened? Like, you just, you guys just left us dry. We didn't leave you dry. We did <laughs> No one's saying anything. Yeah. Because there's nothing, on my side, there's nothing to say, honestly. I don't want to lie to you. There's nothing to say. What led to the breakup? Like I said, so we, it was a lot of things going on. Ah. We just left No, no, house. but you, oh, you but can't we... mention them, like, or make, like, wh- we are different was it people. the fame getting we are, changed yeah, to the someone? Fame, we are different people. Or was we are it girls, oh, was it cheating? Or was it, yeah, 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 fame. Oh, I got a big head. Fame was a trap. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We are different fame. people. We are different people. Oh, because yeah, you was yeah. emceeing at Kick. <laughs> Doing a bit. <laughs> it was busy, man. <laughs> it was busy. It was busy, man. Man yeah. must work. Yeah, you know? Man yeah, must yeah. work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nekji. Nekji. <laughs> Did he contaminate the pure spirits? <laughs> you know, from outside. Because you did no, like, for valid, valid, bro. She did say no, that, you know, when you No, personally, I think, I think... Our relationship served its purpose, and I think that's the beautiful child we have. And outside of that, yeah, it is child. Is he is he a oh, present beautiful. father? How's the co-parenting going? No, I haven't seen him. I don't want to lie. So I, until we are at an amicable space, I think I'll I'll speak on his behalf. But has he been seeing a child? No. Wait, Come wait, on. no wait. I interviewed Temba on 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 Sesfiyi, and he sounds like such an involved with the other kids. He's yeah. got two boys, right? Or one? A girl and a boy. A girl and a boy. Yeah, with the other kids. He was such a great model of an invested father who who's not dating the mom anymore, but there for his kids. I How think, is he not I there think for yours? That's what I'm saying. Oh. Like, a lot of things happened, Saul. <laughs> and But all I can say is that him going publicly and saying I'm denying him access to the child was a very low blow. There, oh. there could have been ways to go around that. Unfortunately, the public won't help in this situation because it is a situation between him and I. And well, would you allow him to see the son? If you want to see the son, or the child's son. Why not? So he's ghosting the child. Not entirely, but there's a lot happened. So your pants are dry today. <laughs> there is a lot that happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What happened that leads to him not seeing his child or coming to see his child? So everybody has differences. Ah, nah, Paul, look, you can't no matter how much we yeah, I hate guys. you or we can fight as my baby mama, the child is the child, and I should be seeing the child, even if it's and that's correct. Okay, my, 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 my thing is, do, 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 do you want to tell your truth or do you want us to speculate? Yes. There is nothing to speculate. I'm not depriving him from seeing his child, oh. but the way it's getting a corner, it was not a beautiful scene. So it's kind of hard to build, rebuild that bridge, and now there's a child involved. So until the child is, how, how can I put it? If there's no, no good coming from that side or him coming to the party, until the child is of a fit age of making decisions, then it's all But now, because anything, I'll just leave things like that. Okay, let's speculate. Boy, so she wants boy. us to speculate. So to me, it sounds like there's something you must do 
Or the child must come of age till he sees the child. Not entirely, but I'm saying we we can't use the child as a commodity right now. You wronged. Right your wrongs. If Temba starts his car, yeah. drives to Guaco or wherever the child is, yeah. will he be able to hold the child in his arms? No. <clears throat> Until he does. Yes. What? Pay for, what is it called? Uh, damages. Yeah. No, it's not even about damages. It's not even about damages. Remember, Ingani um, he can come pay damages, but still, Ingani umizala, Ingani asekai. Remember, yes, that's true. That's and true. then ingano umikuche kai iyalochola, but I'm not anybody. Gisangom ingani zalwe imin. So you need to rectify because maoni la awona ngakpela gini maoni majuzin. So because we from different worlds, yeah, that will yeah yeah. Because we sangom, it then yeah. changes. It changes everything. It changes oh, everything. Yeah. I get you. So it's still a, 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 it's it's a process. It it can be done, but it's a process. Uh, unless everyone is willing to come to the party. So I can't die because of my, who I am. I'll always be a Sangoma. So how, do, how does it begin the process? Because surely it's not a matter of banking it, it's details. It's got it's nothing to do with more. me. It's got more to do with the families. I have. Do no the families need to meet like in a Lobola situation type? Something like that. And he T- needs to initiate that. Hey, so it's a process, these things. Take, no, take it's a food. No, it's a food. It's a We're process. Just it's a process. Ignorant. It's take a away you, Sangoma. Yeah. Take away the kid. Just you and him. Like, what space are we at right now? He's a part of my past and he's there. I don't live in my past. I mean, so you've moved on. Stuff. Fully. Damn, bro. You're cold, man. I'm not cold. Well, just like that. Well, hey. I'm not a widow. <laughs> I'm oh, not a widow. Season two of the die. episode. Are, you, are we having se- season two? Nah, I, I I won't say anything. It's his show. It's not mine. Oh, it was his show. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Do you regret dating him? Not at all. Not at all. Sounds like you do. No, I don't. I never. I loved him. Came I loved him. We shared good times together. But it's it's just like everybody in this room. You've been in relationships and they did not work. Mm. So it's just that I was in the public and then it looked like, ah, you. But we've all been there at some point. And I'm 29. He's not my first relationship. Is he the best though that you've had? Nah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. I hope I... Yeah. <laughs> hey, okay. Pick a card. Oh, hey, yeah. pick a card. Let's lighten it up you're here, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're watching that. It's so... <laughs> pick a card. Okay, shuffle them and then let's see what you come... Oh, you got you got one? Okay, cool. Shuffle. You're rigging again. Oh, no, just shuffle. <laughs> okay. Okay. Makazi. Okay. Give us your card. Okay. Makazi. Give a confession or sip. Mm. Yo! You gotta give one after that. Yeah, it wants to come out. <laughs> <laughs> A confession. Yes. Ooh, guys. Mm, confession. Oh, I'm trying to think. Mm. Mm. Um, confession. I. Ah, there's one that you thought of, Mara. No, the saying. thing is that Angadi from Funa Confession. Okay, Funa Confession. In game. Anything, whatever, whatever first comes to mind. So, Funa just make confession about around what? Anything, man. Anything. Come on, you know your 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 the stuff you've kept to yourself. If we don't know what kind of stuff you would have kept to yourself, mm-hmm. otherwise we'd know the confession. Yes, and then we'll just and it's no longer it. like. Giving, it's giving Zimbabwe. Okay, <laughs> okay. Let's um, judge. We'll judge that. Um, yo, um, hi, come on, guys. She's sure, beautiful, by the way. Fucking hell, man. Bro, yeah, she's like yes, yes, Meg G, yeah. I sent this all. Yeah. Give me scenarios or something to confess around because I literally. Yeah. Okay, okay. Something you did at the Big Brother house that no one knows. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. When have you used Ubungo Mabako to your advantage? Like when you shouldn't have, outside of the Big Brother house. You know, like your powers to your advantage. Yo, okay, with that, I, I've never, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not a magician. My powers are for healing, so I have never used my powers to an advantage. Okay. Um, in the house? In the house, no, not even. Did yes. you read good. someone secretly? Not secretly. I had a conversation with someone um, that is tools. 
He knows about this. Madran. Yeah, I had a conversation with Tools. Um, Yeah, so, uh, yeah. But I think it was Ed. It wasn't Ed. (laughs) But yeah, we had a conversation, I think. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's get another card, man. Hey, are you playing it safe today? You are su- you are, you're actually shoving the controversy down my throat, yes? <laughs> Say the kinkiest thing you've ever done or sip. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm going to get a little bit of a card. I'm going to get a little bit of a card. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice card. Oh, wow. Uh, um, why are you playing it so safe? Are, are, you, are you protecting your brand? You are not like this in the I'm house. I'm protecting. Bro. What did I? Who are you watching? You are free spirited. I am free spirited. <laughs> but Kinky also remember, mm. it's, I can't go into that. I'm, I'm in a relationship, man. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Where did this fucker meet you? This fucker. Dude. Eh? Who's this fucker? I feel like started off as. <laughs> A fan of Big Brother. I really feel like he started off watching you. And he's not just a fan. Me. Who started no, off? He's not a fan. Who stayed who stayed composed when they met you? Yeah, Who started off? Is that the boyfriend? Steinhoff, who's Steinhoff? No, he's saying it started off. Oh. Him oh. Did you know him before Big Brother? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a love bag. No. It's a love. Where were they then in your life before Big Brother? Um, they've always been there in the shadows. Yeah. Are yeah. you happy? Are you happy? Yo, I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I am. I think it's something new, fresh, and it's it's private, but it's not a secret. Mm. Yeah. What are you busy with now? Like, what you, apart from you know, uh, music healing people and the, oh, uh, music. Farming. Whoa! Whoa. Music. Yeah. We're gonna start DJing soon as well. I did start DJing before I fell pregnant. Mm. It was just um, at the time beguining for me, and also remember when you come from a show like. Big, Big brother, brother yeah. it's very easy to get lost in the whirlpool. So you get thrown out to the world and people are like, go get to your bag, go get to your bag. Yeah. You, could, you could end up being the face of chillers, ungafuni, yeah. you know? Yeah. But it's very important to take time and find yourself and know who you are because we are in an industry that is fast-paced also and it's mm. about who you know and what you're bringing. And also, I didn't want to disrespect Abantu that have been in the craft the longest and use my big brother name God, to yeah. get ahead because... Because, you know, that's very easy to, to do. So yeah. I didn't want to disrespect people. So I think taking time to, to to finding myself and knowing what I want has been the most beautiful thing. I'm a creative at heart. I love exploring. And I think that's where we landed in music. Bro, when did the dust settle? Because like when you won, everybody yeah. wanted you. Like Wanted people, me? Yeah, in terms of like people wanted to interview, people wanted to work with you, people wanted You're to manage property, you. Man. You're a hot property. Are. Now that the dust has settled, That's like... Um, I think it... Yo, it is too loud. Meh. I think it is too loud. And especially when there's no media training, no media background, it can get a little overwhelming. So mm. the dust... Yo, it, it was a lot. Even till today, I still feel it. Sometimes I'm... It, 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 I still get anxiety just going Out. to the shops mm. and all those things. So, wow. but... Um, all I can say is that I, I'm I'm living through the moment right now. I'm I'm, I'm only enjoying the fame, the everything now because it's now at a, in doses. It's not mm. this overwhelming rush because literally I went into the house as Michelle Mvundla and then I walk out. I am this known person and it's too much. What the hell is happening? And then you have people get your bag, get your bag. <laughs> you don't know anybody and you can get lost in all of that. But for me, I think it's only now that I'm processing everything and I'm finding myself. Who are you poor in all of this? Did you uh, meet any celebrities along the way? Like, through, since you won? Meet them how? Like At, at functions? Yeah, 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 yeah. I have met some people, although at some point I'll be like, yo, Gonje, I see you on my TV and now, you know, we're here. Yeah. But for me, um, it's not even about the celebrity status. It's about meeting the person first because I'm naturally drawn to people's energy. Mm. So I, I'm, I'm very selective to who I engage with and I engage with who I feel that is reciprocating what I'm giving. Mm. Yeah. What energy do you feel in the industry right now? Like, what, what do you think is going on? It's cold in the streets. <laughs> it's cold, man. It's very cold. <laughs> you need a jacket. Yeah. You need a jacket. But I think it's about um, knowing who and what you want to do and who to associate with. And also, in terms of the industry, I think we are at a stage of 
expression as a youth, as a people. But hey, if you're just coming with this big headedness, I am poor, but hey, you're going to sit. You just need to humble yourself and learn the craft, immerse yourself, and don't let the fame get to your head because remember, fame doesn't pay the bills. You can mm. have the numbers, but be broke. So you need to be smart. Look at yourself as a business because at the end of the day, you need to put bread on the table and you can't live by paycheck to paycheck. You have to have something in your account. So your bread number. <laughs> uh, uh, music, where are we at with the music? Are you doing piano? What are you doing? Um, The sound that we put out is just chilled piano. That's what I called it because it's not too much intense. But I don't want to be boxed also into a specific sound because I'm exploring. I, I was thinking of releasing an EP, but I felt it was too soon. I didn't want my sound to drown with everything that's happening now and this year. Mm. So I think people next year are going to fully exper experience me via mm, music, mm, who mm. I am. And I think it's it's been fun. I don't want to lie. I'm a creative and I'm just touching everything that I feel works at the moment and, and, and just goes with the people. Who, who, so. did you, who did you work with? I worked with Mlindo, the vocalist. Oh, oh wow. Star wow. the Healer. Star Healer. Oh, Star Healer. Yeah. She's amazing. Star Healer. She's a fucking... Yeah, Sviso's And artist. Urban Sounds. Um, that's Sviso's artist. Yeah, 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 Sviso's
yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. we wouldn't have played. We wouldn't have signed yeah. out with it. Okay, okay. dope. Okay. Should we play One Must Go, uh, the Big Brother edition, or should you take another card? Which one do you want to do? Uh, you trust the card in front. Yeah, I think you I trust my cards. Yeah, I trust my cards. Uh, put the my cards. Hey, my cards, what na? My cards, I'm my Pick. Yes, yeah, I like this. Okay, I'm going like this one. Pick someone to kiss. Mm. If they refuse, you sip. Mm, I like Do do baby. Yeah. Ah, 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 I should go both ways. Hey, that's her. Have you ever been with a woman? No. Oh, yeah, no. Missing out, bro. Was I love, Mike G? Because you've been away from me. I mean. Uh, Pinduk, anything else you want us to talk? Yeah, man. Look, earlier on you said something, right? And you got yeah. me thinking that yeah. is Angomi meaning aren't in relationships for obvious reasons or yeah. reasons that you mentioned, not yeah. so obvious. So with that said, you are still human mm. and you still need sexual pleasure mm -hmm. and sexual fulfillment. Yeah. So our ancestors and understanding if you take matters into your own hands, What's the what's the relationship with ancestors and not having a sexual partner? So, between <laughs> taking matters into my own hands. Yeah, like if like because you said is I'm going meaning are yeah. prone not to not being in relationships. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they need some sexual pleasure of some sort because they're like, human. Manje bega into yenza yowen ufunugu kulumisa for abanya bantuan and also. I, I can't be held liable for people's sexual experiences. What you do with your okay. sexual life has got nothing to do with your gift. I'm let me let again. me rephrase this. I've been told that masturbation is frowned upon by ancestors, but do they make exceptions for Izangoma because of the complexities of dating and having sexual partners when you are spiritually okay. gifted? Let me answer you. <sighs> hey, so yeah, we are funalento. It's yeah. a valid question. Like, no, but I get you. Okay. So when it comes to self-pleasure, right, it is not something that we should always attach to as a stigma. Because mm -hmm. as a person, you need to know your body first before you can give your body to someone else. Mm -hmm. So now, like I say, Guti, the gimmicky behind Amad Lozi has now led people to say, Guti, ilos lami alfuni sexual pleasure or ilos lami alfuni nexi. When you are a nurse or whatever in the bedroom, it's got nothing to do with your gift. You are still a human being having a spiritual experience and the mm. body wants what it wants because also sex for a spiritual person, I always look at it as a spring cleaning. You need to take out some energy. Mm. People don't have sex. They're going to be sexually frustrated. You That's need true. sex. You're yeah, going to be frustrated and your energy needs to be refreshed. So that is why we engage in sexual activity. It does not matter how. You oh, know? great. But now, you as a, but it's better because self-pleasure, uh -huh. but now religion has associated. So no, 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 you're sharing us your... Listen, your... your pleasure has got nothing to do with Ugnola or whatever, because Usuga Uz pleasure when, and it's got nothing to do with Although sex is a sacred act, yes. When there's another human involved. Because of the energies being intertwined. Yeah. So you pleasuring yourself, it's not like your gogo standing by the corner of the wardrobe watching you and saying, yes, you are coming or what? No, we have ridiculed our ancestors. We need to know that within the calling, within the gifts, they are human beings just like you and me. I need to have an orgasm, all these things and they've got nothing to do with. Yeah. It's got wow. nothing. It's got nothing.
just you must always keep your energies pure. Mm. I always say if we as if we serve, I always say to my clients, if we are sab glala no mutu because you feel lugutuzognolisa, rather self-pleasure, explore with yourself. You are young, you can, whether you are old, but explore with yourself. There's no restrictions to sex because it's also a create, it's an art. Sex is an art. I and it's been so around even during the days of one of those weeks. Exactly, weird. exactly. So explore, know yourself. So you know, this is my body. This is how far I can go. And there's nothing to be ashamed of. Bro, why don't you want to speak about timber? That baffles me. Why you want to be Why you Yeah, we invited him, Tim. I mean, no, no, Oh, you said nah. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. said nah. Oh, I said nah. Yeah, you said nah. Yeah. Nah, no you way. Said nah. Yeah. You said nah. 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 You said nah. <laughs> you said nah. What you was said this, nah. bro? Nah. nah. What was you this? said nah. Oh, shit. Okay, well, let's have it next year. Yeah, but uh, there's nothing in the... No, but... I think it's out of respect for that. I think it's out of... And it's also a bit misplaced because... You talking about him is not disrespecting even your current. It's just he was in your life and it was a public thing, you know, and people are curious as to some. But what stuff haven't and I answered around that? Because in Shilongati, just like any other relationship, we grew apart. And also remember there's the aspect of we're in the same space together. We got released to the world together. And now maneuvering was the trickiest part. And trying to also add the element of love in, into it is just something else. And we both want different things. Remember, we went to the house for different things and wanted different things. So it didn't work. Do you think if you met him outside the house and not, neither of you were famous, it stood a better chance in your relationship? No, not even. It was still going to happen like how it happened. Nothing happens by mistake. That's why Niti into Islang and Isile. It was for the beautiful gift of life that came between the union. And after that, part had been fulfilled. It didn't it didn't serve any purpose anymore. Did he have a tattoo of you? I wouldn't know, hey? Did yeah. you get one of him? Never. Why? <sighs> what is the what is the plan la? Ah man, I don't care then, bro. No, like but... you did a whole reality show with this person. You're in the house, everybody knows, you did lives about him, but you don't want to talk about him. It's like it's it's weird to me. But like I understand if you don't want to yeah. talk about your current partner. You've never exposed him to yeah, us. Yeah. Right? But you exposed you and Temper so much, but you don't want to say anything. Like it, 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 why do that then? Why have a reality show if you don't want to talk? About but I'm sure the show is there for you to reference on, and also in the respect of Ingani, I I I will say what I can say. Ingani is say. one year old man. He's yeah, not gonna but see we are this. cool. Like, oh, he is gonna see this. Please come and on. And I, I don't wanna speak ill of anybody. I think we are both adults in our own rights, and that's why Shilong explaining Logan Zage Loguti. I think Interpeti Lenje was him going publicly and saying I'm denying him access to the child because Ugu Zogwa Zoguti Ngani Kona. Also, my family went through the right channels of letting his family know. So going publicly is not going to help anybody at this point. We just need to be amicable as adults. Like how it started. But technically, you are denying him access because it's got he, the access has got conditions that maybe he doesn't want to meet, such as doing the right thing via, via, via customs and traditions. Not entirely. Um, guning ogwenzagele. And it's not a secret that he was not there throughout the pregnancy. So to now come back and say, I'm denying you access, but you were never there from the start. Is he getting punished for not being there? No, but it's During like... During pregnancy, I, wasn't there? I, how am I denying him Some access? Stuff, right? How am I denying him access when you were never there? Even during your pregnancy? Okay, but the child is there now. Yeah, he wasn't but when... I never said that there's no access to the child. It's That's a fine that... island. Well, when I... I don't know if this happened to you, Mac, but when you come back late, but yes, you know what I mean? Yes, yes, so yes. So it sounds like yeah. that because he wasn't around for the pregnancy. Now it's like we are up on during the so nine months. So we are not going to be and it's just to acknowledge you. We are not going to be a kid. So nobody acknowledged in Ghana because of the differences that happen within everybody. So it's not, a, it's not, we, everybody's not in a good space. We didn't end off well. Families mm. and us personally. Ah. So it's very hard so to make that than, it's bigger than you. Yeah, it is. Do you know who suffers the most in this situation? I know. The child. Yeah, sadly. I know. Sadly. Does the sadly. new partner get to spend time with the child? Um, not not really. Hmm. Not really, because I think I'm just enjoying the relationship outside ah, of having. So it's not yeah, there yeah, yet. yeah, it's not there yet. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. 
All right, cool, man. In closing, man, what do you want to be remembered as? Eh? Mpo Madim. Yo, the Sangoma that changed the narrative. Um, the brave the brave queen I am, the resilient person I am, um, the phoenix that I am. Um, if anything, remember me as a beautiful babe. <laughs> but you're gorgeous, man. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Man. Thank you. How much is the lower? No, uh-uh. He's in a lower, he's in his lower like bag right now. So <laughs> he's in his lower like season. So don't, don't mind him. Open his temple now. Open his temple. Yeah, I wouldn't mind his temple. Also, it's quite his temple, it's what I. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, Paul. Come on, come on, the show. Make it forever, Paul. Yeah. Uh, always. Would you, would you be part of his temple? Um, I think. I would. Mm. Um, I'm very, I'm an open-minded person, mm. but only if it comes nintoni po and the bag. Mm. But yeah, but that's another lifetime. But now I'm just too focused on my, on my, on my bag. On your journey, yeah, yeah, on my journey, my bag. Guning um, for me now. And then those two things are at the center of his team, especially in Klonipo. Mm. A lot of people think it's like, ah, it's just a guy yeah. in a Playboy house and all these girls. I mean, and he does every day. as he pleases, yeah. whatever. No, yeah. no, the respect is at the, the heart respect. of it. Respect. And also, at the heart of it. he play a vital role because yeah. umuntu maga lete kai, usuga lete oguzo lungi sa andi se isbongo sa se kai, anagegele isbongo sa se kai. So if someone just comes into his temple because of just the bag, it does not fulfill the purpose of his team. It's mm. too, it's too build it's to build uh, am i worthy not because you can date someone but ninga bi nengane because of amadlozo ethi anga connect kungabi na le mvumelana leyo but uthola umunye umuntu akuzalela ingane kusuke kuva kuvaniwe emadlozini ukuthi lo muntu lo kufuze vele asizalele ingane so it's just, yeah, not entirely or, but everything is just a, a spiritual swa. agreement yeah where like if you were to be uh, uh, with tembo hmm. ideally which position would you want to be the first no, or... I, I can't be the Ngungulu. That's the that most difficult no part, eh? Every to be the first time. wife. I think that's the most challenging part oh. because you have to now sit and watch people come after you. Most likely younger than you. Six, yeah. <laughs> Six, yeah, than you. You know what I mean. Fresh, new stock in town. Yeah. <laughs> and you feel like you, you're, you're approaching expiry date. <laughs> Must be the most toughest thing ever. So, are you coming with the pants again? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was a pants. Maybe, maybe no, I'm no the pan one at the pants. Okay, <laughs> but it it it's like that. Uguti is tembo asiko lula. That's why no moon to masenge ne tembi luya ya lwa because it's not just a marriage between one and two people. It's a, it's a lot. Mm. It's a lot. This cuts as well as you must know. Good to buy about one this guy, and also Dala. It was a sign of wealth. Umun is temu. Not now. What's happening these days? Umun to feels like an F three four. It was a sign of wealth. Yeah. You know, good to guning a guy. We got our bag. So abundance. yeah, yeah. Women are are just you know a blessing. A blessing. Yeah, oh, women. Yeah, yeah, you guys are like, like yo, yeah. like yeah. too much. You guys yeah. are mad. Dude, you look happy, bro. You look happy. You look Shut up, Chloe. Yeah. 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 Like. You look, you look yeah, happy, bro. I, yeah. I think I'm at a beautiful place right now. I think I'm at a, I'm at a new chapter of my life. I've yeah. evolved as a person. I'm in Kulile, yeah. and I just love where I am. So I'm just looking at life through a different lens right now, and I'm just enjoying myself. So yeah. By the way, we're having a documentary that's coming out for my song. Hey, so shut me, Doki, as man. into how oh, it so, came together. Oh, doggy, some doggies, <laughs> doggies. <laughs> Shout out. So that is coming out, um, you know, something that can be expected in the early year. And then after that, we're dropping the visuals. So I'm very excited. Life is just, it's just beautiful. beautiful. Fuck it, yeah. man. We've been talking about the song for long. Let's play it. Play the song, bro. Play the song, bro. Don't forget to stream. Uh, it's Bonga by who? Mpoa by the... Mpoa. Ubonga. Ubonga, Ubonga. Have you heard Kabza's Bonga with Mahu? Yes, I have. Fire. Fire, ne? Fire. Bonga. Bonga, uh, Mpo, Wabadim. So it's already up here. There we go, Mpo, Wabadim. Yeah. Bonga, wow, here we go, beautiful, man. Beautiful. Please intro it as we sign out um, this episode. This has been Podcast and Chill, man. We out of here. Boom. Bonga by myself, featuring Linda the Vocalist, Star the Healer, OHP Sage, 
And Mr. Urban Sounds, enjoy Ubonga. The message behind it is about Thanksgiving. Thank you to everyone that has been on my journey of life, supporting me, being there for me, day one, day zero, day everything. I love you. I see you. And from me to you, Nyabo. And if I like it, I might just put my name on it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha lefiki. Ungo even when they ask you, how sabiin, do not fear. For if you do, just say, anesthesia. This is the medicine of censorship. This is 